supporters of Ireland. CIS and Shields Cup final. Rangers against Mullerwell. The calm before the storm as Richie Fallon stands over the ball and we're underway. Picked up by McDonald. Played it behind. On that occasion, McBride and through to Vatilus. The Rangers. In the first corner, Bob Malcolm forward. And Marshall went for an early touch. As the ball comes in, he did away though. A chance for Rickson. Deflected, comes in. Could it across was close. The early touch for Marshall, perhaps a little bit more heart stopping than he would have liked. Even without Marvin Andrews, I think Rangers have got a height advantage there. And uh, when this ball breaks out, that's a decent hit. Ali Ferguson again in the midfield, steps away from O'Donnell. It's a nice ball from Buffo, plays it through, Morris Ross skips it in! It's an unlikely first goal scorer for Rangers, and Morris Ross celebrates! Precisely, obviously, what Motherwell didn't want, but that's great movement. More often than not, a full battle overlap down the wing. This time, Morris Ross decided to go we call an underlap, he gets inside Stevie Hamill there. Goalkeeper makes a decision to come out, possibly the wrong one. In the end, it's quite an easy finish, but what a good run there it is in an inside right, old fashioned inside right position. And it's kept. Oh, he's taken short. Ferguson swings in. Oh, miss from Marshall, but the whistle goes, and the goal is given. God, and Marshall was expecting. To be given, but it wasn't, and Rangers have gone two ahead. Yeah, nothing. I don't think there's anything going mask going to do. I think there's a little tip off the top of the head just as he's going for it just now. Yeah, there is. And there's absolutely nothing he can do. I mean, great finish there. Good for Rangers. Pressure. Four, so Over and Crucial decide to get on the air now. Here comes Crucial. Holding off his man, Dano Prusho, straight at the goalkeeper. O'Donnell tries to get involved, he's been involved for the wrong reason, for the head flick. Can get us the score. And that's going to go. Motherwell's way. Kriakos just wanted too long. And Motherwell with the free kick. Well, he quite believes it. Though. Free kick in. And it comes in! And David Partridge has scored! Just what the steel men needed. Fantastic goal there. I mean, he's got in front of all the What a great start to a cup final this is. It isn't the Mullican the most sophisticated game so far. There have been a lot of misplaced passes, a lot of bobbles and things like that. Yeah, but the odd speckle of decent play in the midst of it all, but uh, it's not affected the atmosphere. Here comes Scott McDonald. He's going to try from there. Vatter has pulled his arm away, realising that was going wide. He's Mullerwell's top goal scorer, McDonald. He still searches for his first goal in this game. And the Mullerwell fans are making the noise. Despite the fact they trail. Here comes Patterson, taking on ball. High ball in, O'Donnell's battling for that with Rickson. And O'Donnell just dumps Vatterus down. Fischer plays the ball off beautifully. Challenge there on Buffo. Mike McCurry's right up there, and Mike McCurry is going to the pocket, and that's a yellow card. Rickson fires it in! And Rickson scores! He loves this competition this season, Fernando Rickson. It's his third goal. Scored against Aberdeen, scored against Dundee United, and now in the final against Motherwell. That is a great hit, man. He's coming from Rangers. Strike gets over right at the top of the wall. Actually, it's right in the corner. I was maybe questioning Gordon Marshall there before I seen it again, but actually, that's a fantastic free kick. And the most difficult place, even the top corner is harder to get to in the bottom corner, bouncing just on the line, just behind it. A great goal, and uh, as you say, Rexon loves this competition. So Vignol hasn't asked, he's waiting for the whistle. Plays it in, Marshall has to go back. 
reckon that Genova was close? Well, that could have been game set and match. Novo ends up in the net, but fortunately for Mullerwell, the ball doesn't. Vignol, that's a lovely pass through. Novo's in! Nacho Novo scores for Rangers. That could be the killer goal. And Rangers, with 48 minutes gone, hit four. Rangers four, Mullerwell one. Uh, two minutes ago, I just said that just came from an old attempt. The score sheet yet, but uh, that's precisely what we expected at some point in the game. The similarities to this in the semi final are actually quite frightening now that the kind of space is open up a little bit for uh, Novo to get through there. I think uh, good Marshall's made his mind up for him really a little bit. I mean, it's made it quite easy for him. He's come all the way out, but having said that, if you're winning one, what do you expect? Ferguson. Still not sure Ferguson's done any running, he's not needed to. It's him for short. Has to bring the ball back! It flicked in, it was Fernando Rickson that was there. Rickson not happy. Kriakos is in! Simple fifth goal, and so it goes. Kriakos scores for the second time in the Serie A's Insurance Cup final. He smiles at his manager who applauds him. Rangers hit five in the cup final. Rangers five, Mora one. Every time Kiriakos did in the box, something happens, and uh, on a couple of occasions today it's been something good, and that is a fantastic goal. That's that's a goal worthy of grace in any, foot, any cup final. And uh, in some ways, I think I remember a goal at the same side, Lorenzo Amoruso, just before he left Rangers. And uh, memories of that there, but uh, Kiriakos. Nothing much can be done about that. Well done, big man. He's played well today. He's been involved in everything. He's been great entertainment. Alec McLeish works, shakes hands as the full-time whistle goes. Rangers have won the CIS Insurance Cup. Insurance Cup and a captain.